Alright guys, here we go. We have an absolutely massive Superstar X Factor trade to make heading into week 3. And I'm not normally a big trader. When I do these fantasy drafts, I'm normally very confident in the players that I'm drafting, how they fit my scheme. However, I shared these sentiments and these concerns with you guys in our season opener. I feel like in round one, pick 14, George Kittle was a bit of a reach. Now, don't get me wrong. George Kittle is a great player. He's X Factor. He's got decent wheels, good route running. He played well for us in week one. I throw to my tight end a lot, so it makes sense to have a great tight end. It's just, again, I feel like we got him too early on. Fortunately for me, though, someone hit me up. The Denver Broncos, now they have a superstar tight end. The problem is their tight end doesn't get the tight end apprentice ability, which George Kittle does. And since I'm running spread, that's not really an ability that I need. And because of that, I'm willing to make a small downgrade here, a very small one. Noah Fant is a superstar tight end, very similar speed, perhaps even faster than George Kittle. His route running after the catch stats, not as good. But again, I feel like it's hardly a downgrade at all. And we're actually getting a first round pick back and a second round pick back as well and I feel like this is going to be really good for us because in every league I've played in with this particular player he has finished in the bottom five of the league I feel like these picks are going to be worth a lot and because of that I'm super happy about this trade man I feel like the possibility of this being a top five pick is very very likely so we'll get a very early first round pick a very early second round pick Noah Fant who is superstar in return for a late second round pick and George Kittle, our superstar X-Factor tight end. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this trade. I think it's an absolute victory in our book. And with that being said, man, we're ready to go. Let's do the usual intro. All right, what's up, guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. And welcome back to week three of our Colts Fantasy Draft CFM Series. Today, we are taking on the undefeated 2-0 Tennessee Titans the AFC South is absolutely loaded, man. The Jaguars are already 3-0. Me and both the Titans are 2-0 as well. This season is going to be an absolute dogfight. We also have some really exciting news here, a breakout player. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the episode. All right, so Mock Draft 1 in Week 3 feels kind of early. I'm going to be honest, so I'm just going to skip right by that. We have so much football left to play. I'm not even worried about the rookie NFL draft right now. We have a message here from Justin Jones. I feel like I'm on the verge of a breakthrough, man. I don't even know. Who is Justin Jones? Who is this guy? Hold the Titans to less than 100 rushing yards or get Justin Jones an interception, force fumble, tackle for loss, or a sack. I have no idea who Justin Jones is. All right, so Justin Jones is our 25-year-old, 72 overall, a left end. Now, he's currently a, what is he? Is he a star? He's a normal dev trait. So he has an opportunity to go up to star. This is kind of disappointing. All right, it's kind of a letdown. It's going to be honest. It's cool. We'll take the star dev, but this guy doesn't, he's not even supposed to play for me. I think he just got it because he had a good game last week in week two. We got a force win over the Rams, and I guess the CPU went to town with Justin Jones, but... Listen, it's better than nothing, all right? All right, we're going to do some upgrades here. We're going to take a look at the Titans roster. We'll jump into the game right after that. If you guys have any tips for upgrading my quarterback as quickly as possible, let me know in the comment section below. Auden Tate, Landon Dickerson, Chris Barnes, Jeff Okuda. This is a notable player right here, one of our starting outside corners. He's been playing pretty well for us so far this season. We'll upgrade him here to a 75 overall zone archetype. I love the zone archetype. I know slot gives you the highest chance at speed, but we love the zone coverage as well. A Debo, another safety that actually plays for us. I think we play a Debo up top. I could be wrong and we might use him at linebacker, but I'm pretty sure he's up top. Plus two zone coverage for him. Justin Jones getting his upgrade as well. We'll go ahead, do the power rusher. I'm not too interested in stopping the run. In a league with largely pro players, Everyone's passing the football, and Justin Jones gets plus two power move, plus one finesse move, and plus one speed, which is not bad. I mean, he, he just cracked 70 speed, which is, okay, it's it's kind of bad. Now I'm a little bit sad. Cody Parkey here, though. K-Mag Parkey. I'm actually going to rename him if I remember after this game. It would be fitting if I changed it from Cody Parkey to K-Mag Parkey. It's plus one accuracy, so maybe I won't miss as much anymore. Divine Diablo, our user right here, though. We're going to give him the run support, hopefully some hit power, maybe some strength, some agility, 
any physical attribute would be absolutely awesome unfortunately we don't get any of those i'll probably go hybrid next time for my user um let's see if i recognize okay gillespie gillespie <laughs> gillespie i believe is one of our safeties that we use at linebacker in 335 wide so we'll go ahead upgrade his hybrid we have the plus one acceleration and change of direction i wish i did that archetype on my user some really nice upgrades right there Derek Forrest getting an upgrade. It seems like everyone on our defense gets an upgrade this week. I guess we just played great defense last week in that Forrest win. Plus two zone coverage right there for our safety man, Derek Forrest. Javen White, our other linebacker, actually has two upgrades here. So kind of interesting. You typically don't see two upgrades in one week. Plus two zone coverage. We'll do it again, man. Like I said, that zone cover stat is super important. Probably the most important for these linebackers, for these safeties outside of speed. 91 speed, 67 zone coverage. So a long way to go, man. He'll eventually get there. Jonathan Taylor, we're gonna upgrade the elusive back. Maybe I should've gone with power back, but I just feel like there's more to gain here. Plus two change of direction, plus one acceleration. Actually some amazing physical upgrades right there for our guy, Jonathan Taylor, Noah. Fant getting an upgrade here as well, up to an 85 overall. He's unlocking his second ability slot as well. Catching, catching traffic, medium route running, and release. Let's see what we have here for the second ability slot. Oh, we can actually get route tech. Slot apprentice, route tech, deep in elite. Oh my goodness, there's some really good ones right here. I think I'm gonna go with deep out elite, one of my favorites. It just seems to work really anywhere not even necessarily outside the numbers if you throw an inside seam he catches it he lights up so that that ability is kind of broken in my opinion right here jamar chase jamar chase getting an upgrade here as well plus one catching traffic plus three catching plus one deep route running by the time we have 500 snaps with jamar chase he probably should be an 85 overall already unlocking his second ability slot by the time again that happens so i'm looking forward to that Bilal nichols cameron sutton oj we have so many upgrades i'm just gonna skip a few of them that i don't feel that are that important i don't know i just i don't want to see here doing upgrades all episode it's cool it's fun and when oj gets a plus one speed and plus two zone coverage man it makes it that much better 92 speed 82 zone coverage this guy is an absolute glitch i promise you guys if you get the opportunity to draft this guy in your own cfm i highly recommend it zach wilson getting two upgrades here as well you guys already know where we're going we're going strong arm we need to get this to 80 overall before playoffs awareness throw under pressure and throw accuracy deep and we'll go ahead upgrade it one more time which makes it six upgrades away from hitting the threshold with quite a few games left. So I'm liking the progress so far. X Factor, 22 years old, man. He'll get there in no time. Let's go ahead, auto upgrade the rest of these players. All right, so here's the Titans roster. Up top is Tyron Smith, the 95 overall center. Darius Slay is 93 speed with superstar abilities at corner. TJ Hawkinson, Brian Burns, Montez Sweat, two of the best young speedy pass rushers in the NFL. Baker Mayfield is going to have quarterback throwing ability, so we're going to be at a bit of a disadvantage here in this game. Darnell Mooney, Mark Ingram. The team is looking pretty nice, man. Quarterback, he definitely has the advantage for now until Zach Wilson's able to progress this season. His wide receiver core is pretty weak. I'm not going to lie. This is the advantage we're going to have in this game, man, with how good our corners are, how physical they are, six foot one and up. We're going to play great defense this game, man. That's how I'm planning to win the game. And just try not to turn the ball over with Zach Wilson. All right, boys, here we go. This is a big game in week three. I'm trying to win the AFC South, something we were never able to do in our Texans franchise. And again, it starts early on. It doesn't seem like a super important game. No, get out of the way. 89, literally point shaping, man. We had a walk-in touchdown in my own player bumps me man and it results in me getting tackled come on that would have been a great start and that would have been an even better start considering the fact that again we don't have the throwing abilities on zach wilson offense is not going to be easy in the meantime getting free points like that would be absolutely incredible it's fine though let's go ahead we got good field position man let's drive down the field put some type of points on the board yeah here we go no fan yes sir no offense. Listen, we traded you for George Kittle. This is your debut, and we're expecting big things, man. Listen, I don't, I'm not expecting a big drop-off. I feel like no offense right there. Similar speed, obviously, route running not as good. Run after the catch, not as good, but 
again, I'm expecting big things from him. If we expect to win, we're going to need a lot from Noah Fant this season. Why does Jamar Chase look so tiny? Big things from Noah Fant. What'd I say, man? Go up there and dunk on a Noah. Let's go, man. Come on. And that's exactly why we drafted those those big corners, man. We drafted the big corners, the all the six foot guys and up. That way we don't get dunked on like that, because that happens a lot in this game. No offense. Come on, man. We expect big things. We get him on the first drive. He's into the end zone. Great start here on offense, man. Seven nothing. Let's go. Come on. All right. Spoke a little bit too soon. K Mac Parky drilling it right down the middle on the extra point though. Seven nothing. Get a stop on defense. Let's bury this guy. I feel like I say the same thing literally. Every, I mean, have I ever not scored on my first drive? I feel like we always score. I always say the exact same thing. Maybe it's a nice little routine. Maybe it's annoying. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What a tackle from Derek Forrest, man. That could have been bad. I forgot. This is the dude that literally no huddles and flips and audibles every single play. This is fun. I love this. I love playing this guy. Defense, baby. Come on, that's a bag. Come on, man. Defense right there. David White. Come on, kid. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I had everything messed up. I should have called a timeout. Bro, this guy plays. Like, this guy needs to take his ADHD meds, man. No huddle every play. Come on, dude. Too old for this shit. Pressure, man. Baker Mayfield, he's not great when you're blitzing him. Defense again, man. Third and ten. Can we get him to a fourth down? Make him work right here. Alright, I'm going to watch this little out route on the left-hand side that he did to me earlier on the drive. Nice job, man. Hell yeah. Fumble. Fumble. I'm hitting the quarterback, man. Drop the ball. All right, third and five, man. Let's get off the field right here. Come on. I mean, I just sent six people, and this dude had all day in the pocket. Come on, man. It was a great defensive play call. Like, we knew he was going to send out all these people. We manned up everyone else. Yeah, we left the hits open, but if I'm sending six, man, we need pressure by then. We need pressure. Frustrating drive, man. The third and ten where he kind of just rolled out and threw it right at me on the broken play it was annoying, but it's fine. We're going to stop at some point in this guy. Just got to keep scoring points on offense here. We're out. Jonathan Taylor. Come on, kid. Let's go. We need a heavy dose of Jonathan Taylor out of the backfield in the run game, which, by the way, we need to run a bit more with Jonathan Taylor, man. Come on. Let's play a bit more balance, K-Mac. Okay, and my run stick is terrible. I got to lay off a turbo until I hit the second, uh, the second level. Looks like backed off man coverage. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Jonathan Taylor. Run him over, Jonathan. Run him over. Mmm. Go, kid. Backside dig. Jamar Chase. Come on. Up to the five. Let's pound it in. Let's pound it in with JT, man. Come on. Oh, don't let him shed right there, man. It's a walk-in touchdown. Come on. All right, boys. I have an itch to do something uncontrollably stupid here. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I had a walk-in touchdown. That one was my fault. Uzama, come on, man. Look at the fight, breaking the tackle, diving into the end zone. We take a seven-point lead once again. Great offense on that drive. 
I love it, man. I love to see the heart right here from the boys. Get him, boys. Come on. We gotta send the heat at this guy. I'm playing too much coverage versus him, man. Let's see if he's comfortable under pressure. Oh, yeah. He don't like the blitz. I mean, he had everyone wide open. He couldn't make a read. He doesn't like it. No, sir. That's a that's a crazy cage right there. That didn't look open, did it? Sutton. I don't know who Sutton is. He snuck on the field in our dollar set, and he comes up with the interception, man. That's a crazy defense adjustment right there. Don't steal that. Don't steal that, all right? It is man coverage again. There we go, JT. Big conversion on third down, man. Great blocking as well. Okay, way to fight forward for the first. We'd love to see it. Did we get in? Did we get in? No, we didn't get in, man. Come on. All right, first and goal. I'm going to take it down to like 15 right here. Call a timeout. We still have two left after this, but Mike Williams, come on, man. I love the effort. We got to get in, though. I got to be careful with the diving, too. I feel like you can probably fumble on it. Although I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I just started diving a lot though. I'm gonna dive again right here. I'm gonna dive again. Bro, the dive the diving's crazy. The diving's crazy. Let's go. Two possessing lead right here. We're gonna go up 14 with only 13 seconds left. We should be able to play defense here and not allow him any points unless somehow I completely screw up. Great half though, man. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Can he kick from here? Can he kick from here? We dragged him forward for like four yards on the tackle, man. Come on. Please don't make it. Jason Myers. Can Myers kick from 41? What does this say? 58 yard field goal? Oh, he drilled it. He could have hit that from like 65. Oh, man. That's frustrating. We really dragged him forward like four or five yards on the tackle. Oh, that, was just, it was, that was just bad. We're still up two possessions, so I'm not not super upset about it, but it is annoying. I can't lie. Let's go ahead. Just have a good defensive drive right here. Make him work. Hopefully get a stop in the red zone. I'm already saying that because, again, defense is so incredibly hard. Baker Mayfield with the passing abilities as well. Tough to stop, but red zone is really where we shine. It, it always has been. It always will be. And, you know, just make him work. Get our stops in the red zone. That's the defensive game plan. You can just instantly tell, though, this guy doesn't like Dollar. He's literally, he went from audibling, audibling, flipping, flipping, quick snapping, all that stuff, to, to doing 25 seconds of ID in the mic, shifting his line, and then he wanted to throw a pick six right into double coverage right there. So you can just tell right away he doesn't enjoy this defense one bit. And I can allow things like this again. Like, we're going to force him into making bad decisions. Which, again, he almost did last play. Got a little bit lucky on his part. And uh, just get stops down here inside the 20. Oh, he... Okay. <laughs> I thought he would throw the hitch because I ran with the corner out the entire way. And then the, literally the millisecond... I, I should have just stuck with it the whole time. But literally the millisecond that I peel away, he throws it. Take that, thank you very much, Diablo. Take this back for two, Diablo. Come on, baby. I'm the buggy man. Come on, I'm, I, my lurk is everywhere. It's everywhere. All right, that's actually huge for us because now we're up seven once again. If we get any type of points on this drive, we're taking a two possession lead and that's what we're looking for in these CFM games where defense is so hard. Anything, any opportunity we can get to go up two possessions, we're taking it and then we're milking clock from there, all right? Clock management is huge as well. Look at JT, man. JT runs hard downhill. Oh, yeah. Get off me. Punch him in the face, Uzuma. Uzuma's a fighter, man. Mm, 
no separation versus man coverage right there. 9 for 13, 148. We're looking good with Zach right here. But this is a big play in the game, man. This is a huge play right here, boys. Looks like, uh, looks like man blitzing, honestly. Uh, not enough yards. This guy came down pretty hard, was able to hit us pretty much right as we caught the ball. Fourth and seven. Obviously, we're going for it. It's a big play, boys. This is a big play right here. Blocking my running back, and we're just doing a one-two read. Oh, I thought we had that with Noah Fan. I think that was an inside quarter or something, maybe. Played that perfectly. I like the read. He guarded the slant. We had the post route. Just... This guy played it really well, man. All right, that's fine. Good dot. I feel like he just kind of had all day again. We're not really getting the pass rush we were hoping for. I don't think we're going to get a star dev with uh, with Jones. I don't think we've gotten pressure on him once, really. Not, not in 3-3-5 wide, at least. I should have went back to dollar, but again, I just kind of came out in 3 wide in the first play of the drive, just kind of had a habit, and uh, this guy no huddles pretty much literally every single play. It's not worth it to call a timeout or go off sides, and uh, yeah, just a little mental mistake for me right there, but we're fine. He's back in the game. Got to have a good drive here, man. Got to have a good drive. I don't know if we're capable of making this last drive, but honestly, I might give it a shot. Let's go ahead and choose some clock. Let's see if we can make this the last possession of the game. It might be really difficult, but hey, I'm up for the challenge. I don't really want to play defense versus this dude anymore. This dude's not fun to play against, man. The, the no huddling and the, the flipping and the audibling, it's, it's just too much for me. It's too much for me sometimes. Yeah, he doesn't like this run either. I thought I fumbled, bro. What was that camera change? Did anyone else see that? What was that? Bro, my heart dropped for a second. All right, take, 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 man. Come on. Last possession of the game. Oh, we need to throw the block. We need to throw the block. It was the wall. Come on, man. We could have picked up the first down right there. All right, so with his alignment of the linebackers, this kind of tells me cover for a match. So we're going with our little uh, wheel play here. It's a huge conversion on third down, baby. Perfect as well. We didn't get more yards than we needed to. It's time to run again, man. Take some clock with us. We're doing a great job right now. We're doing a great job of managing the clock. But again, at any point, we can just get shot in the backfield and put ourselves in a tough situation. So let's just play smart here, not lose any yards. We need to hold the block in Kreuzschank, man. We need to hold it. That's a first down again. Going right back to this run, though. The only thing I'm worried about here is the fact that he might run commit, but we'll see. We'll see. Use with the safety this time. Fight forward, Taylor. Let's go. That's a big pickup. Let's take it to the two and a warning. Get off me. Get off me. DT, fight. Go oh, home, man. What a stiff arm on the user. What a stiff arm. Uzama, come on, man. I should have maybe gone down at like the 12, just picked up the guaranteed first, and then given ourselves enough room to get another first down. But again, I'm not too upset about it. I really like the way we've handled this drive so far. Now, I think he's pretty much guaranteed to get the ball back. That's the only downside. We can leave him with very little time. I think it's important that we just try to score now. Oh, the block come on 67 we gotta throw that block man all right boys we're trying something here he's shooting really hard the left side of this formation we're gonna run a jet sweep here with jamar chase will it work will it work jamar he's into the end zone let's go man i'm a genius offensive coordinator jamar chase on the jet touch pass i don't know how that worked seriously i might have to run this gimmicky stuff more often maybe it's not i mean i guess pro players call this gimmicky but i mean it's obviously not really a gimmick just kind of off meta we take a seven point lead but honestly with one timeout 104 it's really not that difficult to score and then obviously he'll probably go for two i would imagine just because he's tired of getting the ball ran down his throat with jonathan taylor right now but 
Let's just blitz this guy, make him check down, play good defense. We can live with the 15 yard check downs, man. All day, we can live with that. Clock is ticking, baby. Clock is ticking, yes sir. Only a seven second runoff is kind of wild though. He hit a deep post run 35 yards down the field. Kind of a generous runoff. Oh yeah, we screamed up the A gap. I tried to click on the nickels. We almost had it. Hey, we're sending the heat right now, boys. We're sending the heat. All right, we're gonna fake the blitz this time. We have five deep blues on the field, two 30 yard flats, and a three reg from our defensive end. We're only sending two, playing all out coverage right here. Yep, 12 yards, man. We can live with that. Last time out. Ooh, we gotta make that tackle right there, man. Come on. And bounds. Come on, man. What a tackle. What a tackle. Oh man, he scores with pretty much no time right there. That's a good dot over the middle of the field. I didn't have any zone over there. I was guarding, guarding the sideline. It kind of messed up my click on too. I clicked me on the guy on the left hand side instead of the guy in the middle. He's gonna go for two here and we gotta get a stop boys, gotta get a stop. Come on, baby. Great defense right there. Perfect adjustments. He hits us with the quick snap. We're ready for it, though. And thank God, man. We almost absolutely screwed up that game right there. But again, we got to get this onside kick. So let me stop talking for just a second here. Let's go, Jamar Chase. Hands team, baby. All right, we're going to take our knees. A one point victory. Got the heart pounding just a little bit. Dude, the tight end route, I like it. It was good. We sent everyone. We blitzed everyone. I took any zone I had off that left-hand side. Pretty much just any underneath zone I took off the field. We only had one on the bunch side. I wanted to make sure he couldn't throw a little quick out route on that side. So I ran to it with my user. Left the tight end in the middle of the field wide open, hoping that we could just tackle him in bounds. If we did, the game was over. Unfortunately, though, it clicked me onto my corner, who was kind of getting blocked by the outside receiver. Instead of the safety, who was standing right in front of the tight end, and then I kind of got jumbled up there because I got nervous. Right as soon as I saw it click me out of the wrong guy, I kept spamming circle to switch my user, and it kept going back and forth. I didn't know who I was on. Absolute shambles right there. Almost a terrible mistake that lost us the game. Fortunately for us, though, we had perfect defense there on the two-point conversion. We take home the victory over the undefeated Titans. We're moving on to 3-0, and that is a great win right there. Any win we can scrape out, man, with Zach Wilson before he gets that pass lead elite or that set feet lead is going to be huge for us. 169, two touchdowns for Zach Wilson. Again, it's not really going to be in his hands until it has to be. Jonathan Taylor, 10 for 59. Uzuma with the 9. We had 21 rushes. Not something you see a lot. And a large part of that was just due to the fact that we wanted to make that last offensive drive. We had the last drive of the game. And even though it wasn't, it was still really a masterful drive in my opinion. You know, if we were able to take one more timeout and get in the end zone, it would have been perfect. But I'm not going to argue with not scoring there. Obviously, if we got held to 3, we would have lost that game. Okay. I just somehow skipped. Oh, actually, no. I thought we skipped by something, but apparently we have no upgrades after this game. Justin Jones. Oh, okay. Justin Jones did get it. Oh, I forgot. We can hold him to less than 100 rushing yards. I think he only ran the ball literally twice. So Justin Jones is going up to star depth. We'll take it. I mean, I listen, I'm not going to complain. Justin Jones is a star. We're moving on to 3-0. We'll be tied with the Jaguars for first in the AFC South, man. A great showing right there. Hope you guys enjoyed that absolutely crazy game. Next week, we are taking on the Dolphins. And with that being said, man, I'll see you guys later. Peace.